Hello and welcome to EDCI 310. So excited to have you in this online course. We're going to be working through eight weeks of exciting content. I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, this video is going to be your introduction to the course and provide an overview of the course syllabus. So we're going to go ahead and start. If you look to your home page, you'll see exactly what I have here on the screen. Let's go ahead and look at this first page. This is actually the home. If you go to the home page, it's going to show you what's right here. You can also click on the syllabus tab and you'll see the course syllabus. We're going to review the course syllabus here in just a moment, but I'd like to show you the features of your Canvas page first. Um, announcements will be posted here. So you have your welcome to the course here. Pages tab, this will be important later on. You're going to sign up for a book circle page here. You have discussions. Um, I've set up groups and I'll show you those groups here in just a minute. Quizzes tab where you're going to have your Are You Ready survey and your exit survey. Then you're going to have the modules. This is going to be the most important tab for you. The modules is where you'll find all the course information. So in the first module you'll see the introductory materials which also has a copy of your syllabus and course schedule. You'll have an iBook overview video because this course uses an iBook. You'll also have the video that I'm producing right now. Um, you have some information here for writing purposes. And then if you scroll down into the modules, you see that we'll have modules for each week of class. So week one, you have your module here, the Are You Ready survey, um, the undergraduate book circle handout, your autobiographical narrative, and then the iBook, and you'll also have weekly content videos. The assignments tab will show you all the assignments for the course. Right now you just see the two that are upcoming this week. If you want to know and see all of them, you can go back to your home page and scroll down. You'll see the upcoming assignments that are available there too. Um, but you have here all the different assignments that we'll have throughout the course. Grades, you all know where to go to find your grades, but this is where your grades will be. Again, these are the first upcoming assignments. Here's the rest of the different grades that we'll have for this course. And we will have Zooms as well, so we can meet face-to-face -face and kind of talk through information. So I'll set that up and you'll be able to find your Zoom link. Um, I'll email those out to you. So that's a quick overview of the course schedule. What I'd like to do now is review the syllabus with you and make sure we're all on the same page. So I'm going to click on the syllabus tab, close up a similar page to what we're just on. Then I'm going to scroll down to my syllabus document here. I'm going to go ahead and open up that document. It's going to look just like this. Okay, so we have our living syllabus here. The reason I say living syllabus is that is subject to change, but I don't anticipate anything happening that will cause us to change. Our course start date is June 8th, end date is July 31st, so three credit hour course. Um, I am your professor, Dr. Della Perez. One of the things I want you to do when you get into the course syllabus and have time to read it on your own, you'll see that there are some keys to success here. These keys to success are going to be critical for you as you engage in this online course, so please make sure to review those. You'll also need to be familiar with these keys to success for your first Are You Ready survey. All right, so let's go ahead and in the syllabus, the next thing you'll see is the College of Education vision as well as the conceptual framework. I'm not going to read through all those for you. You can look at those on your own. Uh, the course objectives also listed there showing how they've been aligned to our standards. I'm going to skip through those as well. You can read those on your own. What I do want to focus your attention on are the required books. As I said earlier, this book has an, this course has an iBook for it, so you do not need to buy a textbook. You will use the iBook. The only thing you'll need to buy is one book for your book circle um, book group. So let's start with the iBook though. Um, you'll see if we go into, let's see, I'm going to pull this over so you can still see 
both the documents. So if we go back into your course modules, you'll see the first chapter of the iBook is posted under week one. So you have chapter one here, you have a PDF version of it or the iBook version, and chapter two, PDF or iBook. Um, you can use either version, just note that if you use the PDF version, you don't have to have an iBook or an iPad to download that. If you do use the iBook, just make sure that you delete each chapter as you go, otherwise you'll not be able to open up the next chapter. For example, you open up chapter one of your iBook on an iPad, you'll need to delete chapter one before you can open chapter two. All right, so that's the iBook. I think you'll really like the iBook because it's been written specifically for this course. It has some unique features like individual chapters, visual cues, quotes, um, an introduction to each chapter, bookmarks, article links. What I really think makes this book special is that it has embedded video clips as well, um, guiding questions and a your turn prompt. So please um, make sure you're looking at the iBook chapters, follow your course schedules, know when to read those. The supplemental books for the book circles, as I said, you'll be in book, book circle groups. You need to purchase one of these nine books. So what I need you to do is make sure you go through and look at the different books, get a feel for what they are, and then pick your top three, and you're going to sign up for your book circle book. And the way you do that, after you pick your book, you're going to go back up here to Pages, and you'll pick which of those book circle books you want. You'll click on the book circle, sign up, and you will write your name in. Now you see under the sign up page, there's a group A, B, and C. To find out which group you're in to sign up in the right column, you're going to go to the People tab and you will see everyone's name here in the class, but if you go to Groups, you'll see Group A, Group B, and Group C. Just make sure that you select the right group. If you're not sure which group you're in, you can just click on it, and it'll pull up everyone's name in the group. So you'll find your name. For example, if you were Abby Beckham, you were in Group A. So when you go back to the book circle sign up page. Abby's in group A. She'll go to a book circle sign up link. She'll pick on group A column and just sign up for the book that she wants. When you sign up, make sure you edit to add your name. So, for example, if I'm Abby and I wanted the innov innovator's mindset, I'd put my name here Abby Beck Beckham. And then I need to make sure to save that, otherwise my name won't save on the sign-up sheet. But now when you go into the pages, you'd see Abby's name there. I'm going to go ahead and edit that, delete out Abby's name because I'm not sure that's the book she would want. But just make sure when you sign up, you sign up for the right group um, under the right group column. Again, you find out what group you're in by clicking on the People tab and going to the groups. And then just click on each group for your name. All right, so let's go back to our course syllabus. Now that you know how to sign up for the book circles, make sure you do that as soon as possible. There is a due date for that on your schedule. We'll look at that. Um, one of the things about this class that makes it unique, we are online. Because we're in an online environment, I still want to make sure that we make connections with each other. So I use lots of different technology. You'll see here the different assignments, different technology I've used. Um, some of it will be brand new to you. Don't worry about that. Um, it's something that you will be able to use and hopefully apply in your future classrooms. The course requirements. Um, each course assignment is listed here for you. And the due date. You also have the due dates of every assignment on your course schedule. But let's look at our assignments. We have our Are You Ready survey. That's due June 9th, so that's on Tuesday of this week one. You have autobiographical narratives um, due June 10th and you have to do peer feedback which will be due June 11th. For every assignment where you have peer feedback it's typically going to be the day after the assignment is turned in you need to have your peer feedback completed so please make sure to watch for that. You're going to have six content-based quizzes. Sorry I passed right through that for you. 
Um, each content-based quiz is going to be 10 points, and they'll typically happen at the end of each week. We'll have two weeks where we don't have those quizzes. You have two book circle presentations you'll be doing. That's where you need to buy your book circle book. And then um, you have here a note that you have peer feedback for those two books. Circle presentations. I do offer extra credit in this class. It's the first time I've done that. And um, you will see that this extra credit is going to align very much with your book circle assignment. You'll get more detail on that as we get closer to that, pre that assignment. There's also a historical figure event or law research project you're going to be doing. And you're going to do a mini lesson called Philosophies in Action. And then finally, you'll have philosophy of education papers that you do, an initial one and enhanced. You'll see the initial one's going to be due very early in the semester. The enhanced one will be due later on. And our last thing to kind of bring everything together will be a building foundations for the future reflection. So here is kind of how you have the breakdown of your grades. Again, I'm sorry, I keep going past information for you. But here are the breakdowns for each of the different assignments. Um, remember, extra credit is additional, so that'll be included in after the other assignments are completed. Um, I don't try and trick you. You all have an A starting out in this course, and I assume you're all going to keep that A because you're going to complete each assignment in a timely manner and do your best work. I do have the course policies here. Because we are um, in an eight-week course, we won't be meeting face-to-face, -face, but do plan for reading and assignment work each week. I have included information additionally here about course expectations, conduct, academic honesty, communication, all that information you should need. There's some additional resources for you because we are an online. If you need help with global, from Global Campus or the IT Help Desk, please make sure you contact them. Their information is there. So what I'd like to do now, we've looked through our syllabus. I want to just quickly point out the course schedule. So let's go back to our syllabus page or we can go to our home page. Either one is going to pull it up and you're going to see there's a course schedule. So let's go ahead and open up that document now. I'm going to click on that, open it up. It's downloaded. There we go. So our course syllabus is going to look like this. Let me make it a little bit bigger on the screen here. I have highlighted each week for you. These are all the things we'll be doing within those weeks. Here's your assigned readings and videos. You'll see here you have a video that you need to watch as well. You have the introductory video and the week one content video for this week. Um, you also have the iBook video. We have our book circle sign up page here. You have to have that done by Monday night at midnight so please make sure to look at those book circle books and sign up right away. If you aren't signed up by Tuesday, I will assign you a book circle book. So if you want selection, please make sure you, you do that first. There's an Are You Ready survey that you'll do on Tuesday. That is just to give me some more information about you so I can better meet your needs as we go through these eight weeks. There's book circle assignments. I will confirm on Wednesday which book circle book you have. So please do not buy your book until I confirm that on the 10th. Your first autobiographical narrative is due on the 10th as well. A peer response for that is due on the 11th, and then our first quiz. So as you can see, each week has been clearly outlined. All assignments and due dates have been clearly delineated. Please let me know if you have any questions about this information as we proceed and get into the course. But I've given you every week and the different activities we'll be doing within those weeks. So that's a quick rundown on the course. I know that was fast. There's a lot of information, but just take it week by week. I will be sending out emails. We'll be doing Zoom sessions. So I have lots of contact and lots of support. If you have any questions, the best way to get a hold of me is email. So make sure to shoot me an email and I will make sure to answer as soon as possible. And I look forward to working with all of you this semester. Thank you.